Turn Signal with Nima Reza. A special report is showing a disturbing trend in TV. Programs are showing more and more violence against women, and the fallout may be playing out in real life. The Parents Television Council released Women in Peril in October. The study looks at violence against women on primetime broadcasts between 2004 and 2009. PTC spokeswoman Melissa Henson discusses the research. But certainly we know from the past 50 years worth of research, over 3,500 studies that have documented a causal relationship between exposure to media violence and aggression in real life. Um, and in fact, out of 3,500 studies, only 18 studies have failed to demonstrate a real connection between media violence and real life violence. Uh, and of those 18 studies, most of them were funded by the entertainment industry. Programs that included violence against women, Crossing Jordan, Desperate Housewives, and Heroes. CBS has been the worst culprit. The areas of the brain that are stimulated by media violence are identical to the areas of the brain that are uh, stimulated by exposure to real life violence. So in terms of the body's reaction, in terms of the neuro neurological reaction or response to media violence, it's identical. So uh, as far as the, the brain is concerned, there's really no distinction between uh, witnessing a real life violent event and witnessing a media violent event. A major finding is that violence against women increased by 120 percent from 04 to 09, while violence in general increased just by 2 percent. Millions of dollars are spent every year to reduce the problem. However, TV programs may be undermining those efforts by portraying women as nothing more than mere sex objects. To see the PTC's report in its entirety, go to ParentsTV.org.